what's what's your family i mean <laughs> there's so many questions i have because and i know you're I know it's a private issue, but it's, yeah. it stopped being a little private when you also made it sort of public. Because a lot of the drama that came on came from you, mm. from your page, from some posts you put up on your Instagram. It was just a, a post. You said some posts. Just, okay, just well, it was post. a post that yeah, sort of post, escalated. Yeah. And, and that, that post in particular yeah, was... Yeah, and, and the thing is, you know, most people misunderstood the intention of that post. That was just me using Instagram to, you know, address something at a particular time which worked for that period of time. Yeah. You know, and... It so, you, just just for those who don't know, you put up a post saying, uh, talk, sort of talking about your ex-wife now, like you say, since you're divorced, you know, she had gone out or something at night and left your child, you said, and didn't attend to her and came, up, came home at 5 a.m. And you said, what sort of mother does that? Um, so, first of all, at that point, were you divorced already? Were you separated? Or no. was that sort of one of the reasons that escalated things? Yeah, you're still trying to bring me back to answering what I'm not trying to answer. And my point, the reason why I'm not answering is because, you know, I'm not trying to make anybody look bad, yeah. you know, and I mean, till tomorrow she's still the mother of my child, yeah. right? I still got love and respect for her, you know, we're still in good terms, you know, if you guys are concerned, if we're in good terms, yes, we are, we are still in good terms. Okay. And that's it. Okay, but at that point you were not divorced. At that point. At that point you were not divorced. Yeah. Um, it, it, there are a lot of people didn't particularly take that very well you know, the post you put up, do you regret doing that? Because, I mean, social media can get very messy and people say sometimes mm -hmm. it's better for things to be left, you right. know, quiet. Was that a sort of a last resort for you? And why did you do that? Like I said, yes, exactly. I think that's just the first, it was the last resort I had. And, you know, I can't explain into detail telling you what made me do it and the actual reason and all of that stuff. But for me, I used Instagram as a tool to salvage the situation at a particular point in time which worked for me so yes a lot of people misunderstood it i had to take all the bullets and all of that you know but at the end of the day to sort of take up my daughter yeah. you know and i feel i i wouldn't say i regret it you know because i mean it worked for me at that point in time since it was the only result i had what would you say affected your marriage more i mean was it the fame because people who say sometimes when you're so out there when you're two public figures mm -hmm. especially with this social media age, there's a lot of you know interference even from people you don't know mm. would you say the fame was the issue or the fact that you were sort of living in having a distant marriage because you were no longer in nigeria what was the bigger factor you you like i said the, i'd already explained the intention why yeah. i left it was also because of the family i mean I, I knew who i was i knew how i was popping out here in nigeria but i had to sacrifice all of that to go and do that now i wouldn't want to go into what affected it because that's too personal but at the end of the day, it's an experience I'm forever grateful for. Yeah. Yeah. Would you do things differently? Would I do, what would you do differently? What I do differently? Could, what would you do differently looking back? Looking back? Like I said, I don't regret anything. If, if, if I had regrets, yes, I was start thinking about, oh, maybe I would have done this differently. I don't, regret, I don't regret anything at all, you know. So what are the lessons then? What are the lessons? That's for my archives, you know, because uh, you, if you're asking because of the fact you want other people to learn from those lessons. Everybody's situation and case is different. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure you would understand that speaking from a matrimonial point of view. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so I wouldn't want to say, oh, these are my lessons, or this is what I would have done differently. No, 